Hello, Jesse here with GPS City. We're proud to announce we'll be helping the City of Calgary Parks with their 100th anniversary. What they'll be doing is putting out about 100 geocaches in all the different parks in the city. And then the coordinates are going on geocaching.com and the City of Calgary website for you to put into your GPS and go find the geocache. They'll also be renting out this Garmin Etrex Legend H at various locations. So I'm going to show you how to use this Legend H to find a geocache, just in case you've never used one before. There's two buttons along the right hand side of the unit. The top one is your cancel or page button. The second one is your power button. To turn the unit on, you just hold the power button in for a second or two and the unit will boot up. You usually see the satellite screen first. Once you get four satellites or more, you'll be able to navigate to your geocache. Also, once you get enough satellites, your position is going to display in the top here and also your accuracy. If the unit does not automatically jump to the map screen, don't worry, you can use this top right button to page over to the map screen. Now, to find a geocache. To find a geocache is pretty simple. Along the left hand side, there's three buttons. The top two are for zooming in and out. The third one is your menu slash find button. If you tap it once, it goes to your sub menu. Tap it twice, it goes to your main menu or hold it in for a second or two, it's going to go to your find menu automatically. So I'm going to hold it in for a second or two. Now we're on our find menu. We're going to want to select the category we're going to want to find, and that's geocaches. So highlight geocaches using the joystick here. Push the joystick in as enter, and it's going to select that category. Now we're on the geocache page, and it lists all the geocaches from our location moving outwards. As I move down the list, you'll see in the bottom here, the first one south of us, 0.7 kilometers, and as we go down, they get further away, and the heading changes. Once you've got the geocache highlighted you want to find, just push the joystick in for enter, and it's going to take you to the summary screen. Now you have three options on the bottom. You've got delete, map, and go to. Don't use delete for the geocaching event because that will make it hard for others to find that same geocache. Just use map and go to. Just a little bit about this page before we move on. This is the summary screen which shows you your name of the geocache, a quick note or description. In this particular model these tend not to be very useful. We've got our location, and then this point is southwest of us, 844 meters. If we want to see it on the map, just highlight map, push the joystick in for enter. Now we're on the map screen. We're the triangle right there, and then our geocache is underneath the mouse icon right there. If you're done with the map screen, you could go back to the summary screen so you can navigate to the geocache by touching the top right button, which is going to cancel out and go back. Now let's select Go To. Now that we're on the compass screen, there's a few things to note. The Garmin Etrex Legend is not a real compass. You do have to move a few feet in a direction to figure out an accurate heading. The solid arrow here points towards our geocache. The top of the screen is our current heading. What you want to do is line this arrow up with the top of the screen then you know you're going on the right way. On the bottom of the screen we've got three options. We've got found, note, and stop. Do not use the found button because this will make it harder for other geocachers to find. We have the note and stop button. Uh, the note will allow us to edit the notes or see the notes and then we got the stop for stopping navigation. Once we find the geocache we hit stop then we go back to the geocache screen by holding in the menu button again to go to find and so on. So let's just actually take a look at the map screen before we move on. On the map screen it's got our location here and then a dark line right there with it looks kind of like a road going down to the bottom left of the screen. That is our route and it's going to take us directly to the geocache. If we use the joystick here, as we push down, you'll see a mouse icon appears. Once we hit the edge of the screen, the whole map's going to move. Uh, there we go. And we just need to give it a minute to draw. You'll see it's still over on the left hand side of the screen, so let's go to the left here. Now there's the geocache we're looking for. 
Most times it's easier to use the compass screen to navigate to the cache and then once you're close kind of navigate between the map screen and the compass screen to help you find the location. Once you're done finding the geocache you could stop navigation from the map screen simply by tapping menu once that's going to bring up a sub menu and the very first option is stop navigation. If we hit stop navigation that dark line that looks like a road is going to disappear. And then when we go back to the compass screen, there will be no arrow. So I'm not going to stop navigation yet. I'm going to hit the top right button to cancel out. And I'm going to hit the top right until I get back to the compass screen. Now that I'm on the compass screen, just so you can see, we've got note and stop. Don't use the first option found. For the City of Calgary geocaching event, only use stop. So we'll hit stop. Now we stop navigating to that geocache. Now we can find the next geocache in the list. Hold in the menu button to activate find, select geocache, scroll down to the geocache you want to find, go to go to, select go to, and we're off to the next cache. For more information about GPS and geocaching, visit your GPS experts, GPS City. Thank you.